What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. As you can see, I am under the Mercedes W210 E320. But before we go over on what we need to do, make sure to subscribe to the garage and like the video. I really appreciate it. And I hope y'all learned something from this. Um, and if you ever get a car like this or you know somebody who have a car like this, they can uh, fall back uh, to my videos or the issues I have. Um, today's objective is to drop the valve body uh, one more time and to check the solenoids, which I should have did the first time, but I didn't. I was just so ready to get this car back on the road and all, but sometimes you got to take it slow and one step at a time. As you can see, we are at square one once again. So we drain the fluid right now uh, for the um, unloosing the pan. I drilled through the pan uh, because my plug gets stripped so i'm end up getting a new pan and that's pretty much it guys so main object is just to test these solenoids uh see if they click and all that uh, which is the transmission clutch converter uh solenoid and the shift solenoid a which is one to two to 45 shifts so we're gonna see if them bad boys working like they're supposed to uh, those only two main codes we get in the other codes we are not getting we just getting these two main codes even after we clear it my tcm is good it's dry and also my plug is good and dry and every the fluid and all that was correct but we still have these two same issues so let's get into this video so guys we back at the drawing board again so this is the t uh tcc solenoid and then that's uh shift solenoid a uh, this one should be between two to four ohms, and this one should be uh, from like 2.4 to 6.5 ohms. So I'm finna like take these two out, and then I'm finna uh, ohm it out. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm gonna use a battery and uh, see if I can hear them clicking and all that. And I might end up doing the other ones, but I might end up getting like a whole new set because it's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six ohms, so I might get a whole new set. So, yeah. So guys, we got 3.2 ohms. So we do have continuity, but that don't mean that it's good. So, and I might as well just uh, test these other ones too. So guys, everything, all my solenoids are within spec, uh, but as y'all can see, I'm finna uh, click it. And what I wanna do, I might end up adding pressure on her. All of them do that, but we need to uh, add some uh, air pressure on it and uh, just go from there. So I need to see how I'm gonna set that up. So guys, I have found like a vacuum line. And what I'm doing, I'm blowing in this line right here. So you should hear. So guys, uh, that other solenoid is working properly, but I just tested this one off camera. So look. Guys, this solenoid right here, I'm blowing so hard. Like my head finna explode. That's how hard I'm blowing. I'm not trying to make this weird or anything, but. Y'all do not hear anything. So guys, I'm gonna test a uh, another solenoid, which is right here. Y'all see it right here. So I'm gonna put this uh, little straw thingy thing on here. I mean, it's vacuum line. Let me get that uh, sorted. Guys, I'm blowing really hard in this.
Yeah, y'all hear that? That's a major, major difference. So we might have, um, well, we have a bad TTC, well, TCC solenoid. We owned it out. Uh, yes, we know it clicks, but is it even, you know, opening all the way like it's supposed to? No, it's not. I think we uh, solved our issue today, guys. I think we solved our issue on today. I'm blowing air hard as hell in here and I'm not getting nothing out. Because I believe the, I wonder if the fluid supposed to come up through the stem and it shoot out through these little officers down this way. It was supposed to. I think that's how it is. Let me take this one off. Yeah, I think they have like little officers. Like the, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a, I'm not a genius. I just got little, com I got common sense. Let's just say that. I'm pretty smart and all that too. Whenever I put, uh, whenever I uh, apply myself to something. But it looked like the fluid come through here. And then when it's ready, it shoots the fluid uh, out uh, through these small little orifices. Because in the valve body, they got like little uh, passages and all that. And that would make sense if this is not sending the, pr the right amount of pressure that's needed. And which could probably throw a fault code or whatever, which is kind of strange so yeah so guys what's up man uh, I wish I tested these solenoids before I put everything back together uh, always check everything like omen things out before you put anything back especially little things like this because you never know you would never know uh, so as you've seen, I did put air pressure from my mouth uh, to these. Each solenoids, all the other ones open up, all of them uh, on mount fine. And same with, uh, well, just the other five, not this one, because when I apply voltage to it and I'm blowing, I'm blowing really hard, nothing is coming out of these uh, two little small officers uh, down here. So it's telling me, indicating that this thing is stuck and it's not uh, allowing the car to shift. It's not sending the proper pressure or um, or the fluid, uh, I believe, uh, over anything like it's supposed to. Um, it's causing me to stay in one gear, honestly. But being that we have the other uh, shift uh, solenoid A, which is the one or two, and I believe the four to five, being that we get an error code on that too, we are gonna change that out. So I'm gonna go uh, online and order me a whole set of solenoids just to be on the safe side and just go from there. And uh, also, um, Got other people opinion and all that uh, with these. Uh, thanks to the Facebook group. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I mean, everybody like everybody have different opinions about, you know, one particular issue. People kept telling me the TCM, TCM, uh, the conductor plate, but I already, I already did a conductor plate. I already changed the fluid and my TCM do not have any oil at all. Like it's completely dry. Uh, the plug, the harness and all that is completely dry and I don't see no oil dripping or anything of that nature. But thanks for the input. Uh, one particular guy, he said the TCM, but it's not the TCM, but I appreciate you, um, like your well thought on um, like the issue of what to check. And I did tell you about uh, me having the cylinder issues and you told me to check there. Uh, which I was gonna check anyway, but I like I like getting uh, other people opinion. I like asking for help. I like to learn. Uh, sometimes before I ask for help, I figure it out myself. Um, I try to solve the issue before, and I might fill in, uh, you know, people in on what's going on. And uh, uh, one guy uh, that's on my Instagram, uh, Nathan, if I'm saying it right. Hey, thank you for your input and all that. I appreciate it um uh, big help and like i said other people big help and of course uh with uh the mind of my own and the will and the confidence to attack this uh it also uh play a role too 
So we're going to change all these solenoids just to be on the safe side. Uh, we're going to have to get some new fresh fluid. We're going to have to get a new fresh filter and a gasket. And also I have to get a pan because guess what? I drill a hole in my uh, old pan. So uh, the bill shouldn't be that bad. It should be around, um, should be around $130, $130. It should be everything depending because I, I know how to like shop for stuff like uh for one example the conductor plate off of um fp uh, fcp euro mind you i shot with fcp euro great uh company and all that because i bought stuff from the porsche from that company and some other company too oh pelican parts i, I bought parts for them but they parts they be marking them uh, parts up high and I just go on Amazon, put in the same part number, get it way cheaper. So the conductor plate and the fluid uh, gasket and the connector was going to be $453. And mind you, went on Amazon and got that for like $230. Or even less than that, if I ain't mistaken. Probably no, I think it was two thirty. I think it was two thirty if I'm mistaken. Or it had it been less, but it was it it was cut it was way less than that amount. I would have spent that amount, but it's it's just unnecessary. Like I'm becoming smarter every day with my spending and stuff and how I, you know, do certain things and all that because it's just me. Um and that's just like you, like uh before you go out and like do certain things, think of it first. Don't just go out there and do it like think like is this necessary just think on that um and it's always a it's always a uh, cheaper alternative uh, than people really think i just like with the tahoe the transmission i was going to spend about three thousand dollars on a damn transmission and also i was going to spend 1800 on the transmission but that was from a company in australia but they didn't ship out here so i ended up finding a cheaper transmission which i'm thankful and i had the guts to do it and stuff because why not i mean it's nothing wrong with cheap stuff uh um not all the expensive things that uh people have or getting stuff um does not hold up good uh compared to the cheap stuff and i can testify to that some stuff is cheaply built which is sad but other than that um uh, yeah i'm just talking out my ass right now but I'm excited right now, but I should did this all first. So y'all have a good night. I'm um, finna put everything back, clean up my area and all that, and just have the uh, Mercedes sitting one more time. So hopefully I can have her driving and we can go, I can go on some road trips. Um, Probably nowhere too far anyway, I might, depending, um, and just go from there. So find a bad TTC uh, solenoid uh, we was getting another code from the other one, so we might as well just replace all of them. So once again, thank y'all. Thank y'all for uh, tuning in. If you ain't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And go check out my other videos. I'm probably gonna make a playlist of all the Mercedes uh, videos with all these issues and all that that I was going through. But yeah, see y'all. Peace out. And. <laughs> One more thing, guys. It's funny how you can, you know, solve one thing and it be one thing after another. So we had a broken RPM sensor, a bad gear shifter, and we also had a bad uh, solenoid. So, yeah. See y'all.